and we start today's journey at Malaga Maria Sambrano train station. And as you can see, there's quite a number of shops around this station with multiple different food cuisines to choose from. And I must say, the Maria Sambrano station is quite a spectacular station, and an interesting fact is it's named after a Spanish philosopher. And our train departs early morning at 10 past 8 a.m. I fill up the station the evening before departure so you can see the vast array of shops that the station here in Malaga holds. And our first class journey, or Infinita class, is with Spanish train operator Aereo. And the journey from Malaga to Madrid at Tocha takes only 2 hours and 40 minutes, with only one stop at Cordoba, and the distance is around 528 kilometers. And we now go through baggage security before we board and get to our platform. And our train for today is a Fecherosa 1000 high speed train, reaching speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. Now let's board our train and take a walk through the other class of carriage. And as you can see there is a fold out table design at the 2 plus 2 seating and this class is called Infinita Singular and it's the same as our carriage just without the food service. And the carriage number is displayed on the door at the carriage entrance as shown here. And our journey today cost us 44 euro which included a breakfast option booked online in advance which I will say is best to book well in advance for a cheaper fare. And of course the fare will cost you more just depending on the season you travel. And as you can see there's large luggage storage at the carriage entrance and overhead luggage storage for smaller bags. And as you can see here, the seats are designed with a leather upholstery and very comfortable with more than enough leg room I must say. And it has a 2 and 4 and also a 1 person seat layout configuration. And there is also a window blind if for those sunny days I suppose if you don't want the sun in your eyes. And as you can see in our carriage here, there's a 2 plus 2 seating with folding table tray and cup holders. And there is USB charging and a power socket chargers. There's two of them and they're at the middle of each seat as shown. And I must say the carriage has a very spacious and relaxed vibe from the get-go. And if you wish to view the carriage catering menu, you can scan the barcode in front of you as shown here. And off we go, bang on time at 10 past 8 a.m and we see across the way the Renif high speed train and we now see the sunrise along the Montes de Malaga mountain range near Malaga city and the breakfast option at the time of booking is not just an English breakfast option but Spanish, French and other region breakfast can also be chosen and after around 20 to 30 minutes into our journey, before meal service, we are served with a hot scented cloth to clean our hands before we have our meal. And here we have the full English breakfast, which consists of two pieces of bacon with scrambled eggs, two cherry tomatoes with tea, butter, Greek yogurt, granola pot with pomegranate. The meal honestly was absolutely amazing. The only downside with it was the speed of the train. The tea spilled very easy, but you do have unlimited beverage service to your seat, so you can get as much beverages as you wish. So you can drink tea and coffee to your heart's content, but I'm not sure about the drink service as I didn't get any. I don't think that's unlimited, unfortunately. <laughs> And we did experience a short delay here due to railway works, but you will receive a text to your phone or what of what the delay is about and how long a delay is anticipated to be. 
And also a good fact to know is that under regulation 2021 782 of the European Union, if your train is delayed for more than 60 minutes, you have a right to claim compensation. All your rights are too vast to name out here, but check the regulation out if it interests you. That's regulation 2021 782. And there is screens like this throughout the carriage displaying the current speed of the train which is 259 kilometers as shown and a map of where we are on our journey. And now it seems the fog has set in but don't worry this clears as we progress on our journey. And the Wi-Fi did work at the start of the journey but it did lose signal as we progressed towards the mountainous area. And now let's go check out the catering carriage. And here you will see the menu for drinks, snacks, meals, alcoholic beverages, hot and cold. And there is quite a selection I must say. And we now enter Cordoba Station. And this is the teacup that should have been served at mealtime with a lid instead of the porcelain cup which spills halfway. And now let's go and review the toilets here in first class. And I must say the soap, the water and the dryer worked excellent. And the toilets were very well cleaned, so congratulations to Aerial staff for the cleaning. And there is also a charger here for shaving. Now pass through the village of Porta Anno. We now go through Kudad Real Station. And we 
we now approach our final destination, which is Madrid Atocha Station. And I do hope you found today's journey interesting, and I must say it was one of the best first class trains that I have ever been on to date. So well done, Ariel. I did not have time to film Atocha Station as I had to get a connecting train at Champ Martin Station. Please remember to take only your belongings.